This is an image that I took of the moon some time ago. One of my big problems with NASA is when you see these images from NASA, the average person gets the impression that the image you're seeing from supposed space is what you're seeing here. But there is a difference, a big difference. This is actually an image of an object or something, whatever the moon is, taken from a camera. It is unedited, untouched, and watch, I'll do a very simple thing here. I'm going to invert the colors so that the blacks become white. Then I'm going to go grab the levels and I'm going to jack them up. And notice there's a guide right here to show you where, where we expect to see the edge of the moon. So I'm going to jack the levels all the way up. And look, no artifacts out on the right side, okay? That's because this is an unedited snapshot. It hasn't been messed with. Back, back this off a little so it's there you can see, okay? And that guide was meant to show you where the edge of the moon is. All right, now let's go grab this. I mean, you've already seen. Look, so I invert it, and then I jack the levels up. Look at all this. You can even see that it looks like this image was made in a different orientation and then rotated. But look at all these editing artifacts. There is no portion of this image that has not been edited. And when you look at it, it basically looks like something that came out of Lightwave or some other 3D program. But now I'm gonna show you a very, oh, let me go back here to, where did it go? Okay, so there it is. Um, I wanna point out another thing here. Notice how my camera was not in perfect focus, probably because of chemtrail debris in there. But you see how it looks like it's slightly out of focus? but there is a visual difference between being slightly out of focus and a blur function in an image editing program. So I'm gonna get in real close here. This is what it looks like when you're slightly out of focus. Now let me go grab this other image which I think is so telling. This image, and you see a lot of these from NASA, where it's blurry, and you think, really? Um, these guys go on these multi-gazillion dollar missions and this is all they can do? So watch this. So I'll. I'll do the inversion, there's the inversion, and there's levels. But look at this, very telling. You see how on an image like, see how sharp edges come on editing pixelation and dithering and other things? Um, they're sharp, but when we come to this image, what, what's happened here, what I believe has happened, is they did the edit and then they ran a blur filter. You can see it right here. So this image was purposely blurred and you can tell by the image artifacts that are not sharp, they're all kind of blobby now because a blur filter has been run. So let's, let me grab another image and I'll do it to demonstrate it. Okay, here's a good one. Let's zoom it in and you can see where I put guides for the edge of the, of the image. Let's knock out some of the reds here um, and that should be good enough. Now I'm going to just select a certain area. Actually, let me get rid of the gray too. So we'll just get rid of this so we have artifacts like we see in these images hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Then I'm going to go grab a section of it and blur it. Now watch. See, that's what they did. You can see over here where the artifacts are sharp and you can see right here uh, what happened. And that's what was done to this image when you see what they've done. See how all the artifacts are no longer sharp? It's because they blurred it on purpose. So there it is, man. Um, these images that we're getting from Pluto now, uh, the designers have gone to town. Some of them are very impressive. Um, look at it like this. Here's the kind of previous images that we were getting, but they've also done another sneaky thing. You see where this crater is and this kind of heart-shaped thing is now? They've rotated it around so that if we try to line up the old shots to look for fraud further, um, it's not from the same point of view because they've changed it around. It's all very sneaky and uh, none of it is a snapshot of anything. It is all just designed images. That's all they are. None of these are snapshots of anything. Invert, go grab your levels, 
jack up your levels, and what do you get? There we go. Look. There is no portion of this image that hasn't been edited, and it's all just a farce. Anyhow, I figured I'd show you that because this is very, very telling. You ever see these blurry images? Remember what I showed you on my moon picture? There is a visual dis difference between being slightly out of focus and someone running a blur filter. So then we do the inversion, there's the levels, and look at all these artifacts that should be squared off, sawtooth, edit marks. Uh, a blur filter has been run over it. So there it is, man. Cheers.